Happy Tuesday, y'all. It's your boy Ripple uh, Randy here again, coming at you today. We're uh, we're gonna work towards uh, crow pose, pushing up into handstand. Um, uh, for those of you that uh, don't uh, have as much familiarity with yoga, the, the Bhagavad Gita comes. Uh, it's, it's the Hindu text, um, you know, similar to, to the Bible or the Quran. And uh, it's, it's really um, a story that, that is about um, uh, Arjuna, who uh, ends up uh, going to war with, with his family, uh, you know, extended family, family members. Um, it, it, it's, a pretty, it, it's a pretty deep tale, and, and he, it really, you know, what it turns out to be in the scheme of things is a metaphor for um, uh, the battle that we all face in, inside our minds. Um, you know, it, it, it can be our greatest uh, asset, certainly, um, when, when we're in harmony and in sync, but it, but it can also be our greatest weakness as well. And um, you know, like crow to handstand, so we're, we're just going to practice today. Like, I, I do not have it mastered, so, so you know, if you want to see me fall down out of it too, that's, that's awesome as well. I, I'm right there with you. I mean, if you're crushing it, go ahead and do your thing for sure, but... I mean, maybe you can do crow pose and you just like never even tried to push up into handstand and that, you know, that that's kind of like the story that's going on in your mind. You're, you're uh, sort of setting the limitation on yourself rather than maybe just go ahead and, and, and give it a shot. Um, so just, um, just something to maybe uh, carry forward with you. Um, let's let's close our eyes real quick. We'll, we'll do a little breath work together. We'll do that four, seven, eight count we did a couple weeks back. So it's four seconds for your inhale. You'll actually hold your breath, seven second count, and then uh, your exhale is going to be four, eight. So um, either close your eyes or I guess you can uh, leave them open here. But uh, let's exhale to sync everybody up together. Exhale, let everything go. Good, inhale for a four. Hold your breath. Release. Inhale, one, two, three. Feel your ribs expand, hold it. Five. Six, seven, let it go. Inhale, two more. Hold it. Let it go. Three, two, one nice job, last breath, fill up, still working on those fingers, y'all. Three, four, hold it. Five, six, seven, release. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, flutter your eyes open if they're shut. Go ahead and meet me on your mat. And we'll start in child's pose today, so drop down to the floor, spread your knees out wide, and bring your big toes to touch. Rest your forehead down. Mm, this child's pose, different from one we'll take later in class, I so want you to Start to reach, start to explore your shoulders. Maybe cup your hands, alternate side to side. Maybe take mental inventory of what you are working with this morning. And then we'll crawl your hands over to the right side so you can Start to breathe a little length in your left side. Your hips still sitting back on your heels. Each breath you'll notice brings new space in your left side. 
Good. Next exhale, breath. Start to make your way back through center and then take your hands over to the left. Deep and honest breaths here. Your ujjayi pranayama in through the nose. And out the same. Good. One more round of breath. And then with your exhale, start to come back through center. Inhale forward to tabletop pose. And then send your hips high. Curl your toes under for downward facing dog. Walk it out. And as you do, as you walk it out, as you shift weight side to side, notice you can still send your hips up a little bit higher each time you pass weight from left to right, right to left. Let your head hang heavy here. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. And then find stillness in your downward facing dog. Draw your heels down to the mat, but your knees, they spiral outward. You'll help create some more space in your hips. Send your hips up just a little bit higher because you can. Soften your heart towards your thighs. Nice job, yogis. Inhale, bring your toes to touch in center. We'll take a little hip opening right now. Inhale, send your right leg up high. And then open your right hip, stack it on top of your left. Now with your arms, keep downward facing dog. Try not to let your shoulders open up to the side of the room. Notice the extra weight, everything focused on your left side. Let your left heel hang a little heavier. Nice. Inhale, square your hip, extend your leg. And then exhale, set it back down on the mat. We'll switch sides. Inhale, send your left leg up. Good. Use your fingertips to take pressure from your wrists here. And then open up your hip. Stack your left on top of your right. Again, your right heel has a chance here. Let it settle further down. Good. Next inhale, breath. Square your hips. And then exhale, set them back down. One breath in. Look to your hands. And exhale, travel forward. Hop, step, or float. Rad dog. This time, let's take chest expansion. We want a little more space in our shoulders today. Bring your palms to touch. Soften your shoulder blades together. Again, let your head hang heavy, and then you can bounce, and you can rock a little here. Soften the grip with your toes. Spread them out wide. Again, your knees. Same in your downward facing dog. They're spiraling outward. Good. One more breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. We'll take a little twist here. Left hand stays. Inhale, send your right arm high and bend your left knee. Maybe you roll out your right wrist. Use your left hand to leverage your twist and use your eyes to take you where you're going. Good, breath out, right hand down. Inhale, switch sides. Set your left arm high. Actively relax your left shoulder away from your ear, right? Active relaxation, like this. Good, breath in, and then exhale, come on back. Heel toe your toes to touch. One at a time, rise up. Samastitati, standing at attention. Palms at heart center. Good, close your eyes or shift your gaze down. So, with a little bit of movement and a little bit of focus on breath, clear your mind. Notice your breath as it invigorates, empowers, 
and explores you from the inside out. And then for you, what is it that comes to mind? What is a battle that you fight with yourself? I mean, I gave you one earlier, you know, it could simply be the lack of attempting to push up into handstand. And even if you don't get all the way up, right, that's why we practice. Good, one more breath to seal it in. And then exhale, release your hands down. Breath in, send your arms high, mountain pose. Plug your feet into the ground beneath you. Press down to rise up. Maybe shift your gaze up towards the sky. Spiral your, spiral your pinkies inward and pull your shoulders down your back. Activate your pose, yogis. Breath in, reach a little higher. And then exhale, yogi back. Bend here, draw your tailbone down. Lift your heart up a little bit higher. Good, keep your chin tucked in here. And then inhale, rise up, mountain pose. Exhale, dive forward. Good, halfway lift, breath in. Forward fold, you'll flow two more. Inhale for length, leverage your heart forward. Exhale, surrender into the fold. One more, fill up. Plant your hands and step back for high plank and hold. So right here, same arms as you'll have in your crow, spiral your elbows inward, right towards one another. You'll, you'll feel rotation in your shoulder blades down your back. Good, tilt your pelvis forward. Fire up your core here. You need your core pose. You need your core active in crow and in handstand. Good, one more breath in, and then exhale. Ride your exhale all the way down. Good, three rolling cobras. Inhale for length. Little to no weight in your hands. Exhale, lower down. Nice, press the tops of your feet firm. Inhale for length. Your knees lift off the mat, and then exhale. Come on back down. Now your knees should stay up. Inhale your highest, your strongest cobra pose yet. And then exhale, lower back down. Breath in through tabletop or high plank. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Three breaths. We'll flow that simple sun A, sun A twice. Replace out your cobra pose with upward facing dog if you like. Good, inhale, look to your hands. And then exhale, hop, step, or float to the top. Halfway lift for length. Exhale, fold deep. Mountain pose, rise up. Back bend, exhale. Inhale, return. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low. Step or float back, inhale up. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Again, three breaths here. So when you're floating, if you're floating, if you jump back, land with bent, soft elbows, controlled. You are strong. Good, here we go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Mountain pose, back bend, inhale, return, exhale, forward fold, for length, and chaturanga, high to low, inhale up, exhale back, downward facing dog, three rounds. to your hands. Exhale, hop, step, or float. Halfway lift. 
Hold deep. Mountain pose. Rise up. Back bend. One more. Inhale. Return. And here we go. Forward fold. Nice work. Breath in for length. You choose your path. Inhale up. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. Nice work. Three breaths, we'll move on. Good, inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Sit low. Good, so chair pose, feet to touch. Scissor everything inward. And pull your hips forward to lift your heart a little higher. Curl your tailbone underneath and then sit your hips back a little bit further. Good. Your arms grow longer with each breath. So strong. Yogi's giving another inch. Maybe another two. One more for length. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Your vinyasa, high to low. Inhale up. Exhale back. Send your right leg high. Right knee outside, right elbow. Ripple forward, give it a tap. Breath in, kick high. Two more just like that. Inhale, good, and exhale. Breath in, low lunge, step through. Inhale, rise up to crescent lunge. And then set it up. So your feet are on train tracks, not a tight rope. Right? If you notice you're extra wobbly, maybe widen things a little bit. Good, sit a little deeper, stack your shoulders over your hips, send your arms up high. Stay strong in your left heel. Press your left leg so that it squares your left hip forward. Good, each breath lifts your heart a little bit higher. Finds a little more depth with the exhale. Good, one more breath in here. Exhale, open, warrior two, spiral your Left heel down. Look for 90 degrees in your right front knee. Good. Stack your hips and shoulders in one line. Good. Now soften your shoulder blades to touch. Good. Scissor your inner legs together. Look, it helps you lift up a little higher. Good. One more deep breath out. Inhale, star pose. And then wide leg forward fold. So. Square your feet. So we don't want, we don't want to sap all of our strength before we get into our inversions. Good, one more breath here. And then release your hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. You'll pivot to the back of your space and move through your vinyasa. So if you've got a lot of variation here in your vinyasas, a lot of kick-ups, anything that's a little bit harder than normal, maybe hold off there. Save a little. Leave some in the tank. Good. Inhale, send your left leg high. Good. Exhale, tap your left tricep. Come on forward. Breath in, three-legged dog, and then again, exhale. Inhale for length. Again, forward, give it a tap. Breath in, step through, low lunge. Inhale, rise up to crescent lunge. So there's no need to rush these postures here. Hug your ribs in. Right, this is your foundation. This is your setup. Something new with each breath 
no matter if this is your first yoga class or your 1,000th. Good, soften in. Stay strong in your right heel. Square your hips in line with your shoulders. Breath in. Exhale, warrior two, open up. And you can adjust your feet, maybe look for heel to inner arch alignment, heel to heel if nothing else. Good, hug your belly button to spine. Extend your arms. Shift your gaze out over your left hand. Exhale, lift your heart, and then inhale rather. Exhale, deepen into your lunge because you're strong. One more breath out. Inhale, star pose. Again, let's go wide with your forward fold. This time, if you want a little more opening in your shoulders, you can take chest expansion. Shift weight forward into the balls of your feet here. One more breath in for length. Exhale, surrender, release your hands down. Halfway lift. And then pivot to the front. Step back, high to low. Or your path. Maybe you're skipping right now. Maybe you're saving some. But we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Nice work. So... Half mandala flow today. One breath to one movement. Not too complex. If you want an added challenge, close your eyes. Good. One more breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hop, step, or float. Halfway lift. Fold deep. Chair pose, sit low, exhale, forward fold, inhale, lift your heart, exhale, chaturanga, high to low, good, downward facing dog, breath in, send your right leg high, three times, right knee to right try, breath in, three legged dog, Exhale, ripple forward. Nice again, down dog, split, kick. Third time's a charm, give it a tap. Breath in, low lunge, step through. Crescent lunge, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, star pose, shine bright, wide leg, forward fold. Halfway lift. For length, exhale, pivot to the back, high to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Breath in, left leg up. Ripple forward, left tricep, give it a tap. Breath in. For length, exhale, squeeze, activate your core. Third time, inhale, ripple forward. Exhale, breath in, step through, low lunge. Good, press in, lunge, rise up. Exhale, open, warrior two. Inhale, star pose, with or without your hands, forward fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, pivot to the front, and flow. Inhale up to downward facing dog, nice job, breath in, look forward, exhale, hop, step, or float to the top, inhale for length, forward fold, chair pose, sit low, exhale, dive forward, breath in, halfway lift, exhale, chaturanga, high to low, inhale up, to downward facing dog, right leg high, ripple forward, tap your left try, breath in, again, inhale, 
Last one here. Down dog split kick. Low lunge, step through. Crescent lunge for strength. Good, warrior two for depth. Star pose, inhale. Wide leg, forward fold. Halfway lift, pivot to the back and flow. Inhale up, the downward facing dog, send your left leg high. Ripple forward, tap your left, try. Breath in, again. Good, inhale, nice, and exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog. Low lunge, step through. Crescent lunge, rise up. Exhale, open. Warrior two, star pose. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Pivot. Plant. High to low. Inhale up. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Nice. So, as I said at the beginning of class, go ahead and drop your knees. Now, I want you to surrender into this child's pose here. And I want you to send energizing breath to every nook and cranny in your body. Let your arms hang heavy here. A little surrender. And if you want to modify here, take a variation. You can bring your hands to your sides. A little different release for your shoulders. Good. Inhale, bring your hands back forward if they're down. Otherwise, Find tabletop pose to downward facing dog. And how are we doing, yogis? Inhale. Are you ready? Let's have some fun here. Take a look forward and then travel to the top. Halfway lift. Forward fold. And then come to standing. Pivot forward if you're sideways like me. So we're going to get into this little work right now. We're, we're just about halfway through class, so a good time to, to really go for it. Um, when you get into this pose, your elbows, they're squeezing inward. So if you want to get in frog squat, if you're bored, if you don't want to just uh, you know mirror what I'm doing up here on camera, uh, frog squat is great. So sit low, elbows in. Uh, elbows inward. You got This is from the ground, right? You're the, you know... Right, looking down at the ground, your elbows are working inward, squeezing towards one another. Use your breath. So like you'll find an exhale, an inhale, rise up out of your crow to handstand. If you've got a wall handy and like feel more confident there, I mean, that's there's no problem with that. So you do your thing. I'll probably mix in a little of both here. So back on your mat and then from your frog squat, side to side, plant your hands in front of your Shoulder, shoulder width distance here. Okay, so you're going to rise up on your tiptoes, bring your elbow or your knees to your triceps rather, and then lean forward for crow pose. Keep your gaze out in front of your fingertips, lift your toes up off the mat. Now use your core for length, and then your press. Good. Take an exhale, inhale, rise up. That was close. And if you soften in, you need to come back down to the mat, that's okay. How did you do? Even if you pause, even if you just get your knees slightly up off your elbows and hold it there to start, that's totally cool. If you've got somebody with you that can spot you, tell them what they need to do. Support your legs. Keep your core active. You're so strong, Yogi. Stay with it. For three, two, one, make your way back. You're going to take child's pose here. Again, just a little relief. 
a little surrender, a little rest. No matter where you were there, even if just getting into crow for the first time, even if just that frog squat can be challenging enough, wherever you are, whatever edge you found, great job. Keep up the great work. So back to tabletop pose and meet me in downward facing dog. So we'll jump right back in to our son B, but we'll add on to son B along the way. So watch for cue change. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, travel, hop, step, or float. Halfway lift for length. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, sit low. Hold it here, and then exhale, hands through heart center, breath in, lift your heart, and then vertical twist to the right, or prayer twist to the right rather, so bring your left elbow outside your right knee. Now if you can, sit your hips below your heart, but keep your heart below your head. Good, leverage your twist, maybe you fly your arms. And again, something new with each breath. One more breath in for length. Exhale, forward fold. Spread your feet wide here. Hip width distance. We'll take a little bind here to assist the fold. So wrap your peace fingers around your big toe. Now before we go into surrender here, inhale, halfway lift. So a long, flat spine. Keep your gaze neutral, but bring some tension into your arms. Shift weight forward into the balls of your feet and actually leverage your heart further forward. Engage your core. Good. One more breath in. Now we'll surrender with the tension in your arms. Let your elbows, they'll track wide. Let your head hang heavy here. Something new with each breath. One more breath in, and then exhale, release your hands down. Heel toe your big toes to touch. We've got a second side while we're here. Let's reset, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, chair pose, sit low. Good, and then prayer twists to your left. Soften the grip with your toes here. Ground through the inside edges of both feet. Good. Send your hips further back and then sit them even deeper. Good. If you flew or grew your branches on the other side, mirror that variation. One more for length. And then exhale, forward fold. Now, to love on your wrist, we'll take gorilla pose. Heel toe your feet hip width distance apart. Bend your knees a lot here and then slide the palms of your hands underneath your feet. Now you'll do this more. It's easier if you bend your knees even more. Breath into all of the tight spaces. Maybe wiggle your toes to give yourself a little massage on your wrists. How is your breath? Nice, one more breath in. And then exhale, release your hands one at a time. Heel toe your toes back to touch. We'll go back through chair pose one time. So for length, reset, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose. Sit low, and then exhale, dive forward. Halfway lift, plant your hands, chaturanga, high to low. Inhale up, exhale back, downward facing dog, send your right leg high. If you've got hurdlers and want it, you should take it, ripple forward, right knee to right try. Breath in, again, give it a squeeze, give it a tap for length. Again, ripple forward, right knee to right try, three-legged dog, low lunge, step through. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. 
Good. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. Breath in, cue change, reverse warrior here. So not with it in our flow today, just as a static posture here. So flirt with in and out of your right knee. Notice the small adjustments it'll help you make. Draw your tailbone down to lift your heart up a little higher. Maybe you take a half bind. Good. Deepen in to your right front knee. One more for length. Exhale, extended side angle. All right, so right elbow inside your right knee here. They're pressing into one another to help drive your twist. Lift your heart a little bit higher. Take one line of energy from the tips of your left fingers all the way through the outside edge of your left foot. One more deep breath out. Good. Inhale, star pose. Stand tall. This time, square your toes and fold, but we'll take Skandasana side to side. With or without the help of your hands. Balance variation. And then you've kind of got the option. So like the wider your stance is, the easier it is to keep your back heel down. Good, a couple more here. Make sure you even outside to side. Meet me back in a wide leg forward fold. Deep breath in for length. Halfway lift and then exhale, pivot to the back. Chaturanga, high to low. Inhale up, exhale back downward facing dog, left leg high, ripple forward, tap your left try if you've got hurdlers, breath in, we did it last week, exhale, inhale for length, exhale, hug it in, good, breath in, and then we'll lunge, step through, crescent lunge, rise up. Good, exhale, open up, warrior two, reverse warrior for a hold. And again, right hand to right thigh, maybe you look for the bind, and then play in and out of your left knee. And then you can lift your left toes. Ground down through the four corners of both feet, scissor your legs inward towards one another. Find something new with each breath, even if your mind is telling you you're at your edge. Good. One more deep breath in. Exhale, extended side angle to the back. And you can play in and out of your knee here to an extended side angle. You can bring your hand to your low back and help activate, to help direct, right, to, to, to inspire lengthening in your spine. Make sure you use your left elbow to leverage your twist. Good. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Let it go. Star pose. Stand tall. And then we'll take a wide leg forward fold for the last time. Let your head hang heavy here. You can maybe let your hands come to the mat. Start to walk yourself underneath your legs. You can grip for the outside edge of your heels. But anchor through the outside edges of your feet. Again, shift weight forward. You are not going to topple over. Good. One more deep breath in. And then exhale. Let it go. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Pivot to the front. Chaturanga. High to low.
Inhale up. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. Breath in. Start to walk your hands to your feet. Breath out as your forward fold. Heel toe your toes to touch. Inhale slowly unwind. One at a time. Good. So coming to the conclusion of our working set, we'll do some balance work here. Good. Inhale, staff pose. Bring your left knee into your stomach. Find one central point of focus. Now scoop your hips underneath you to lift your heart up a little higher. Draw your tailbone down. Good. Lift up and out of your right hip. And then find 90 degrees in your front knee. Maybe you bring the arms. Can you root deeper into the earth beneath you? If you want to go for a little extension in your front leg, feel free. Great job. If you want to turn this into a little twist, grab your right or your left knee with your right hand. Send your left arm behind you. Good. Maybe you extend. You can even grip your left foot. Lift your heart a little higher for three, two, one. If you fall, maybe a little bow. Way to find your edge. And then let's switch outside. So shimmy your legs, shake it out a little bit, and then get heavy in your left foot. Ground your left foot down, lift your right knee up. Again, one focus. Use your hands, y'all. Feel your bodies, right? Like, what's happening? It's amazing just that, that feeling of touch, which can create activation, energy. Good. Maybe take your arms higher. Soften the grip with your toes on your left foot. Scoop your tailbone down to lift your heart a little higher. Nice. If you took the twist on the other side, feel free to go there now. And see if you can mirror whichever variation you took. How's your breath? Stay with it, yogis, for three, two, one, gently return. Nice job. Shimmy shake. We'll go after dancer's pose next. Get heavy in your right foot. Bend your left knee and bring your left hand to your ankle. And see if you can take this inside grip here with your thumb on top. Good. Send your right arm high. Now each inhale breath, you're up and out of your right hip forward. Each exhale, kick into your left hand. Square your left hip down. Try to keep your legs from splaying too far wide. Good. Something new with each breath, yogis. Even if you fall down, see if you can find your way back in. Good. One more breath for length. And then exhale. Slowly come on back again if you need a little reset, maybe side to side, shimmy or shake. Good shift weight into your left foot and reach for your right ankle. Now even before you kick and hinge, you can squeeze your right knee into your left. That should also help with balance because you're staying, you're keeping your hips in line with your shoulders. Good. Breath in. Extend. You can keep a soft bend in your left knee. Good. Each breath finds new space. Great focus, yogis. Stay with it for three, two, one. 
gently return. Nice job. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, back bend. Let's open up. Inhale, return through center. And then exhale, forward fold. Breath in, halfway lift. You're at the back of your mat. Exhale, walk your hands forward. Your choice, chaturanga high to low. Inhale up. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Nice work, send your right leg high. Exhale, right knee outside, right wrist for half pigeon. And take your time getting into pigeon here. So work towards squaring your shin to the front of your mat. If you've got a block or a blanket that you want to sit your right hip down on, do your thing. Good, but before you move into a surrender, let's take a little length. Let's open up your left front line. Inhale, press your right leg down. Square your hips, left hip forward, right hip back. Inhale, lift your heart a little bit higher. And then exhale, start to walk yourself forward into sleepy pigeon. Super intimate with your breath, your peace. Now, just because this is the surrender posture, doesn't mean there aren't tweaks and adjustments you can make throughout the pose. Just like most of the other cues in today, and square your hips here, you'll find the deepest sensation in your right hip if you're squaring and keeping things in line. And then you've got to give yourself a chance here. Your hips take a little bit longer to open up. It can be easy to neglect. Nice work. Stay longer if you like. If you're ready, you can inhale, start to walk yourself back in. We'll take a three-legged dog. And then maybe wild thing or flip dog if they're in your practice. So you can step your right leg over, ground down through your left arm, and then try and square your hips to the sky, hips and shoulders. Press your feet down to rise up for three, two, one, back through optional chaturanga, or just meet me in downward facing dog. Good, send your left leg high. And then half pigeon on your left side. Left knee outside, left wrist. You can manually adjust yourself here. I'm going to take some time to set it up. But remember, let's take a little lift. Flex your toes to protect your knees. Figure four is always an option on your back if this does not serve you. But inhale, ground down to rise up. And the only things that can ground down are the things which are touching the ground here. Still scissor your inner legs together. Pull a little more length. Lift a little higher. And then exhale, walk forward. Sleeping pigeon. Don't be surprised to find something totally different than you found on the other side. You use your breath to expand from the inside out.
try and crawl your right toes further back. yourself back in. Again, we'll take that same three-legged dog or wild thing. Extend your left leg high. And then right hand grounds. Step your left foot over and express. Good. Soften your shoulder away from your ear. One more. And then exhale. Last chaturanga, with or without, you choose, inhale up, and then drop your knees, press yourself back to a seated position, we'll take a forward fold, spread your knees out, hip width distance, soft bend to your knees here to start, you can always extend your legs, good, inhale, reach your arms up high, and then exhale, hinge forward, but lead with your heart. Now you know what I say, like the waves crashing on a beach, inhale, lift up, roll forward, exhale, send the tide back out to sea, nice job, yogis, breath in, use your arms if it feels right, you can interlace, you can find grip, good, inhale for length, surrender, forward, fold, so... Well, maybe you start to send your heels a little bit further away. Good. With your next inhale breath, start to walk yourself back in. Scoot your hips forward, and then with control in your core, lower yourself all the way down. Good. Hug your knees in. Maybe massage out side to side. Good. I'm going to cue bridge pose. If you're in need of full wheel, feel free to take it. Good. Set your feet down. Stack your knees over your ankles. Good. And then ground both feet down to lift your hips up. Scoop your tailbone to the wall in front of you. Soften your shoulder blades together to create a shelf for your heart. Inhale, lifts your hips a little higher. Exhale, your tailbone grows away from your shoulders. Good, one more breath in. And then exhale, set your hips down one at a time. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together. Let your knees hang open. Bring one hand to your heart and the other to your belly. Allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. your hands outside your thighs. Close your knees like a book. We'll take one more spinal twist here to close things out. Hug both knees in. Supine twist here. Extend your left leg long. Anchor, literally anchor. Press your left heel down into the ground. Good. And then inhale your right knee up and around your rib cage. Flex your toes to protect your knees, and then with your exhale breath, roll your right knee over to the left. Soften your right shoulder down. Reach your right arm back towards the right. Now you've never done it before. Place your right hand at your low back. As if you're providing just some gentle energetic support for the twist, for the pose. That's where you want to 
to inspire movement along the length of your spine. Good. Inhale, slowly come back through center. Hug in to reset. And then extend your right leg long, right heel down. Good. Anchor deeply with your right ankle. And then hug your left knee in, pull it up around your rib cage. Really see if you can find deeper compression in your midsection. One more breath in, and then exhale, roll your left knee to the right. You can bump your hips back to the left to help stack your hips. Soften your left shoulder down, reach your left arm long, and then if you did on the other side, or maybe even if you didn't, What changes occur by using a different sensation, your sense of touch? Into your musculature. Nice job, yogis. Inhale, slowly come back. We'll take one final squeeze. Your deepest compression here. With your exhale, release into your final Shavasana. Legs out long. Arms out wide. Take up space. See if you can tune in to the force of gravity. As it pulls your soft tissue away from your bones now. From head to toe, you are supported. Physically on your mat, by the earth beneath you, spiritually, emotionally, by the community, you support yourself with. Your breath is always there. No reason for any tension right now. For the next 60 seconds, the total surrender, the total release brings the sensation of an elevation A levitation, perhaps. An opportunity for all that you found new today to settle in and take hold. Feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as you like. If it's time for you to move forward with your day, I'll guide you out. Start to wiggle fingers and toes. Roll wrists and ankles. Maybe combine a full body stretch there. Legs out long, arms overhead. Enough that your low back lifts up off the mat. Accentuate the natural curvature of your spine. Send your heels far away from you. Maybe even alternate side to side. Good. And then exhale, bring your hands into your knees. Hug in. Maybe massage a little. Maybe rock. And then let them fall to whichever side feels right. A moment of gratitude. For your journey, your ability to continue to find something new, your desire to uncover 
that more polished version of yourself. Good. Press your palm down yourself back up to a seated position, facing front. A comfortable seat. Nice work, Yogi. Such a strong practice today. Thanks for not being afraid to fall down with me. Good. Thank you, as always, for showing up in your lives every day. Inhale your thumbs to third eye center. The love in me honors and acknowledges the love within each of you. Namaste. Great work, yogis. So excited to be with you today. Um, continuing to build more into the program and in, into the uh, frequency of offering, so stay tuned. Um, reach out, always want your feedback. Uh, stay with it. We're, we're getting close. We'll be back, we'll be back uh, studios soon enough. Uh, we miss you. I love you. Um, grateful for you. And stay well, stay safe. Uh, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.